Okay, so moving you come across situations where the box isn't exactly the right size that you need uh, for whatever reason. A lot of times lamps are the reason. So I need this this uh, I need this box to match up with with another box that is you can put the, uh, the, the those lamps right there. I need this box to match up with another box that's maybe uh, two inches thinner than this one. I need them to sandwich together so I can put one on top of the other. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to score this corner and then cut like this. So these two, the, the flat portion of the box is going to get cut and then this portion is just going to get scored so that I can more easily, more easily uh, fold it like this. So the same thing is going to happen on the opposite side of the box, on the opposite corner. So I flip the box and go to the other side, and then this side is going to get the same thing. So, and it's it's approximately the same size. Now, we're not uh, it's not rocket science here, but try to try to get it about the same size so the box is pretty square, and then the box will also hold up uh, hold up better. So I'm going to do the same thing. Fold it in there, and you see how because I cut the flaps now. The, now the flaps will go. Had I just scored the flaps, then then we'd have this. We wouldn't we wouldn't be able to fold this in. As you can see, we're not dealing with millimeter precision here. It's uh, it's an approximation, and as long as we get it close, we're going to be able to fit the two boxes together. See how this this flap is kind of going to get pushed in right there. And, and, and that's going to be there. Now it's not as secure as if the box were made for that size, but it's good enough for our purposes here. We're going to be putting some light lamps in. So uh, we got the other box. So you see how, how this fits together now? So now the lamps were too tall before and they're perfect now. And this, this box will be pretty sturdy. We're going to put a decent amount of weight on top of it. It's not going to fall as hard as So I just resized, resized the box. thinner this way and longer this way. When we try to fit this in, it kind of pushes out on the side and we just need about an inch, maybe maybe two inches. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll cut an inch off of, of, of this side because this side is, is too wide and we're going to add it to this portion right here. And the way we do that is very simply we just cut, cut it here, score it, score it down the middle and then cut it again right here and then you don't have to put tape on it, but it, it increases the structural integrity of it to do that. And then you just do the same exact thing to the other side. Remember, we, we cut it on the thin side, so on the back part, so we're going to cut it on the thin side on this part. So cut it like this. Just cut, cut this flap here. Cut this flap here. Boom. And then just score lightly right here. 
and now it's going to fold for us. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start wrapping all that glass. Here now is a box that is slightly, slightly longer and thinner, thinner this way. Because we cut that flap off. Now this this flap goes down. Same thing on this side. Boom, boom. Now I'm going to have a little bit of overlap because I cut that inch off. But that's cool. Put more tape on these boxes because they're not as strong. Trust me. You can even you can pull one all the way around if you want. Like. And then this. Now that fits in there perfectly. And then I can do the same thing to this box. Put it right on top. And now we have one big box.